Archaeology of the future is a concept that I came up with early on in my studies of architecture. It is a way of looking at architecture as a constant research of traces, of elements coming from various disciplines that are synthesized into space. I'm Lina Gautmey, I'm a Lebanese-born architect and I am based in Paris. I'm also the architect for this year's Serpentine Pavilion in London. I first got interested in architecture very early on, growing up in Beirut as a city that has been constantly rebuilt after the war. Growing up in the city, like imagining spaces and completing spaces, because sometimes you would see like a ruin and be imagining how would this be completed to be finished as a building. Some of the most important aspects in my design and our work as an atelier is the relationship that a project or a building is able to instill with its environment. When we're talking about an environment, we're talking about the climate, the geography, its capacity to be sustainable in the sense that it's built with the resources of the place. And I always feel like architecture should have the capacity of at the same time being so much present, but so much disappearing. So it's really integrated in its place. The Serpentine Commission started uh, also as a research. I started looking, what is a pavilion at all? What is a folly? How to design such a project? And when coming up with a concept that pleased the Serpentine, I was really very happy to design this next pavilion. The pavilion is named a table. It's a French call to get together around the same table. When you're young, your parents would tell you to come at table and get together to eat, discuss. A structure is like a leaf. If you look in a microscope on a leaf, you would see these main veins. And the pavilion is really just composed of this cantilevering beam built in wood. As we speak today, the pavilion is being built. We could see the skeleton, uh, almost like a spider, actually, like an organic being sitting uh, and emerging from the side. And I'm really looking forward to see it finished and also to see people inhabiting it and creating a community in a way.